Hi there, I've been asked by many people to explain how I get the C14 onto the tripod and how I use it by myself. So I'm going to show you how I do that, the modifications that are on the telescope itself and the little tools I have to have. So starting out, the tripod set up, nothing unusual about that on concrete slab here. And I'm going to start out by showing you how I mount, put the mount on, we'll go through various little bits to show you the whole process and the modifications I did to the uh, tube to allow this to occur. So the first thing is simple, which is how in the world do you get the mount on there? It's 50 something pounds, but what's good about it is it's got lots of handle points, so it's easy to carry around. Now I use a table to help with all this. You've got to have a table, that's one of the tricks. But once you get to here, it's rather easy actually set it on to the mount and you attach it as usual with its bolts but what it required is lifting it up off the ground on the table. If you had a cart you could do it as well. That's actually easy because the back of the mount has a handle here and here and a lot of good grab points. Okay? Okay, next thing is the telescope assembly, the actual optical tube assembly. I move it around in one of these cases, one of the brand of these guys again, let's see, where's its name, well it'll come to me, Home Depot specials, uh, about $60 for these things, I think it's a Stanley, um, you can buy a $600 version of this too, <laughs> but I would recommend the $60 version. Now all I did to modify this is took the styrofoam that came with the OTA in its container from Celestron, so you just modify it to make it fit, it will fit nicely. Now, the next part is how do you get this thing out? It's supposedly sometimes 38 pounds, sometimes 46 pounds listed. It's not light, so you just can't grab at it. Although it has some nice handles on this side, it's not easy to move. So what I did was, got a couple of these from Farpoint, and together they basically bolt together and once you put it onto the dovetail, this is the standard Celestron dovetail, screw it down. It actually can be lifted by one person because the weight is close to the person's body. And again, <coughs> 30, 40 pounds has to be lifted. This is the most dangerous point because it's heavy. So it's not hard to do. Keep it close to your body. And the mirror part over here at the back is the heavier. Take it over to the table. That's it. So that's the hardest part, getting it out of there onto a table. You gotta have a table, that is a priority. Hard table, anything will do. Uh, that is an investment you need to have, either a rolling one or a set one. I like the set one because it's not going anywhere. So we get it into position. And so now it's pretty stable. I always keep a hand on it. Take these off. We're gonna use them again when we put it back in this container. But for right now, they're gone. So this is the standard dovetail. Here is the front of the telescope. So what you need is to get this down. And that's where the handles in the back work out really well. Because you can basically hold this. Now even if you lose it, in principle you could Hold it from the back end. But all we're really going to try to do is make it stand up. Pretty straightforward. I've seen people who cart these things out from the garage. Uh, Jeff on Mountain Can Group does that. That's a great idea, except I have grass, so I can't really get from the garage. But I want you to see what I've done to the telescope. The major thing I did. I installed another dovetail. And the reason I did this is because I had some cone error between this and the mount. So by doing this, I could put washers to adjust that. And also, this is a lot stronger. This is an ADM uh, dovetail, and it gives you a little extra height here. And earlier on, I was thinking about using this to actually carry the telescope around, but you see that the handles work better. You could also put the handles here if you wanted. So now I have two dovetails. And this helps because I can use this one for guide scope. So what's the last thing to do? 
lining this up with the mount. And if you see, the mount arrow is down, which means that's the front of the telescope, so we're good to go. All we need to do is get this to here. And this would be the impossible part if we were trying to carry this thing on our backs. But what we can do is actually just shimmy it over. Now we're getting close, we're gonna come around here and see this. This allows another, come around over here. Audrey. This allows another point where we can adjust if there's any error between the mount and the OTA, and there were some. So I put in little washers with a little bit of um, Gorilla Glue, okay. and just enough to line it all up. Now that's an entire other story of how I lined it all up, but in principle, you can take a wide view of, this, of the North Pole, set the telescope up, and line up the mount with the OTA so that they're perfectly aligned, and that's what I did there. But here's the last part. You now want to get the dovetail into the mount. So you have to move that carefully over until they're lined up. Now at the same time, the bottom is the right amount. And you see now, we're more or less in the grooves. Now, I can adjust this a little bit more and line it up perfectly. Gotta make it vertical. But the good part about this is this is done with no weight. This is just careful work. So I keep turning, opening up. There you go. Until we reach that point, and we start tightening them. Make sure we've got the right angle. A little bit off here. There we go. And now it grabs on. And make it too tight to start out but now we've essentially made it the telescope to the mount so the last two parts weights go on that end to balance it out and then we bring the telescope up point the telescope in the home position and then lower this back down to the point where it reaches balance at that point the whole thing can be moved let's stop right here and meet okay so now we've got it connected in these are tight. We put on the three weights on the end, and now if I let go, you notice that now the weights are actually heavier, but the mount is held. So the only trick now is carefully rotate the telescope vertical, and then put it manually into close to the switch position, the home position. Great handles in the back here. Now the only thing left to do now is to slide it down just enough so we reach more or less neutral balance and we can end your adjustment. So Nick, you've basically added the telescope from the box to here, one person. How would you take it all apart? Do exactly the same thing in reverse, bring the telescope back on the table. You notice the table is right in the corner here, then slowly lower the knobs to start sliding down the table take the weights off because if not they're going to fly around and then at that point loosen them completely shimmy it back to the center repeat the process going back in what's the hardest part and the telescope is like this with the clamps lifting it close and sliding it down obviously two people would be better on that point but it can be done by one person i'm not the world's strongest person I'm 65 years old, so what it means is a large telescope can be used by one person. You have this, have these, have a box to roll it around so you don't have to carry it, and there you go. Thank you.